Howdy, YouTubes. Uh, just got done seeing the movie The Color Purple. It was decent. It's a time period piece uh, set in the early 1900s. Everything was period piece accurate. The only thing that wasn't time period piece accurate and took me out of the film was the fact that they turned it into a musical and every other scene had to have a musical score number to sing and dance to and it didn't technically need that but other than that it was a decent movie highly recommend y'all go see it um but again just know it's a musical if musicals aren't your thing if you don't like musicals the story's good enough on its own it didn't need the musicals it actually took me and my friend out of it but we're not musical movie fans, so, like, we just sat there, watched it for the story. Didn't necessarily like the musical numbers. They were okay, but, like, there's probably 50-plus musical numbers <laughs> in there in an almost three-hour film. This film is about as long as The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and deals with highly controversial subjects spurring around the turn of the century, such as racial injustice and other things, and mainly it deals with family issues in the African American community and the 1920s, which I'm perfectly fine with watching a film about, and I'm perfectly fine with watching a film about anything, but it didn't need 50 musical numbers to sh sell the film as an actual period piece. Nobody danced that much in the 1920s, especially when they were building a house. You don't dance in, when building a house. You don't dance in a chain gang. You don't. I'm sorry, you don't. You don't dance in the fields when you're doing your corn. Like, nobody in their right mind does that. <laughs> so, period accurate, yes. The clothing, the costumes, c'est magnifique. The actual um, actors that play their part, they did very good for their acting prowess. Um, most of the actors in the movie are relative unknowns to films. So that was a good thing. They got new actors that may not have been n known prior to this movie. And uh, it was an all African-American cast, which I can respect for a time period piece dealing with ra racial issues. Like, I can totally get behind that because it was a time period piece. If it was any other movie and it didn't have to deal with racial subjects and it didn't have to deal with racism and family matters affecting minority classes in the 1920s, I would be more mad about the film just being blackwashed. But it, it takes place in Georgia. It takes place in a small town in Georgia. It's based off of a journal that got turned into a book, that got turned into a musical in um, New York, and then got turned into a movie. So I can't complain. It's a decent representation of the musical, and it's also a decent representation of the actual journal if you read um, The Color Purple. It's a fabulous read. highly recommend. If you like musical movies... I highly recommend seeing this movie. If you don't like musical movies, I still recommend seeing the movie just to at least get the story. But I don't recommend it if you don't really, really like musicals. I, I recommend seeing it once, but never again. If uh, you don't like musicals or you can't stand three hours of musicals. Um, the Speakeasy Bar by the River, that was time period accurate they turned sawmills on rivers in georgia into speakeasies because 
you could hide from the law in there. You didn't have to, like, no lawman's going to go check your um, sawmill to uh, verify that it's a speakeasy. <laughs> No, no lawman in their right mind, unless it they got to complain about noise. But like, if you're in the middle of no, bumfuck no or bf sorry bfe, which is nowhere, middle of nowhere, you're going to have to work real hard to make a noise complaint. Just saying, when there's nothing around for fifty miles. So, in a way, time period accurate. Um, and all the movie is about is family and issues in regards to minority families in the 1920s based off the book The Color Purple, which I've already gone over and highly recommend. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I know I've been rambling on. This is unscripted. This is just after my first viewing. Uh, I'm probably not going to see it again. At least in theaters. I might collect... I, I collect every movie ever made, so if it comes out on DVD, I'll at least get the DVD, but whether I'll watch it again ever, who knows. This is your host, Lego Brad 86 signing off. Bye!